Am I the asshole? For not eating my GF's vanilla almond milk mac and cheese? Last night she made Kraft mac and cheese but used sweet and vanilla almond milk instead of regular milk and sprinkled not fresh bacon crumbles on top. I didn't say a word but took a bite or two, and sneakily disposed of it after she ate hers without being rude. She didn't even notice that I didn't eat it. She found it in the trash and she's calling me picky right now and saying it's frustrating that I didn't eat it. That's absolutely disgusting right? Not the asshole but. Always put something on top of what you're hiding in the trash. Ideally bottom a layer of napkins and paper towels, the hidden thing, and on top, a layer from the dustbin or vacuum bag. Not the asshole you're right, vanilla almond milk mac cheese is absolutely disgusting. She needs to buy unflavored plant-based milks if she wants to cook savory meals with them. I won't say they have to be labeled unsweetened because some original flavors have some sweetener in them, but only enough to make them as sweet as dairy milk, not sweeter. That said, you have to be careful because some original flavors have some vanilla in them, even if they're not labeled vanilla flavor, and these taste terrible in savory dishes as well. Not the asshole you were polite. Even if it were true that you're picky, so what? Our partners are not the same as us we can either love accept that or we move on. The idea that you should have powered through food you don't like for her is wrong. That mac cheese sounds like a crime against humanity. Not the asshole. Even your description makes me want to retch. You didn't complain. You tried to be polite. Your only mistake was not better covering your tracks but even that shouldn't have been cause for GF going off on you. Not the asshole but also why didn't you just tell her? So you're not being sneaky and she doesn't make it again for you and waste food. Not the asshole you tried it, which was considerate, but didn't like it. Not surprising given the ingredients. My wife frequently cooks with stuff like this and we agree to disagree and just eat different stuff on those days. Why do we have to tiptoe around each other when it comes to stuff like this? Just tell her it's unedible. Not the asshole. I've made this mistake before and it's horrible. Info. Did she not notice the mistake, even after trying some herself? I have accidentally used vanilla yogurt instead of plain in a savory dish, and it absolutely ruined it. It was impossible not to tell. However, if your GF didn't notice, then you really should have told her. Throwing it away without explaining why is rude. Not the asshole this makes me laugh because I have made mac and cheese with sweet and almond milk before and it was terrible. I probably would have made a joke about it and laughed it off if I were you but it's not a big deal. Not the asshole for not liking it and you are not a picky eater BC of that. But next time don't throw it in the trash and tell her honestly that you don't like it. You're the asshole. You could have just told her you didn't like it instead of wasting food. It's not hard to say sorry, I don't think this one is for me, do you want the rest? Not the asshole. Why would you eat something you don't like the taste of? Next time tell her don't throw it. Ha 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 not the asshole I made a vanilla almond milk omelette on accident usually by unsweet unflavored and even the raccoons wouldn't eat it. Going against the grain and saying you're the asshole. If you didn't like what she made, you should have just told her. I'd find it more hurtful if my partner didn't like something I made and instead of just telling me, I'd find it thrown in the trash. Just be honest, right? I'm sorry babe, I appreciate you making this but it really doesn't taste good, can we eat something else? It's not like this is something she spent hours making its craft mac and cheese. Kind of a low stakes meal to have to lie about. I've made this before and it was gross so nta for not eating it, but you're the asshole for wasting food. You should have just told her that you didn't like it so she had a chance to save it for later for herself to eat. I'd be annoyed if someone threw out my food rather than just telling me they didn't like it. Not the asshole I wouldn't eat that shit either lolcraft mac and cheese and sweet and vanilla almond milk too? 
vomiting face, vomiting face, vomiting face. I love vanilla almond milk but no way am I putting that in mac and cheese I would use water before I do that, smiley face. You're the arsehole for not being honest. That mac and cheese sounds awful, but you can tell your partner you don't like something politely. Otherwise they'll make it again thinking you like it. Not the asshole, and also who would think that salt and fake cheese pairs well with vanilla, almonds, and sugar? I have questions about this. You're the asshole. Why not just talk to her? She could have saved it for later. Don't experiment on Thanksgiving. Not the asshole for not eating it, but you should have just been honest and told her, my GF made a stew once and somehow used sugar instead of salt and another time she made mashed potato with the most absurd amount of salt I've ever tasted. It was fucking awful, but we laugh about it now. You're the asshole for failing to communicate and dropping food in the garbage like a picky child hiding vegetables from their parents. My spouse made me scrambled eggs yay and actually used sweet and vanilla almond milk boo he realized his mistake and apologized, I ate the eggs anyway, and we had a good laugh. He would not have been upset if I had tossed them. Not the asshole. You're the asshole just be honest and tell her that you appreciate her cooking the meal, it's not the right flavor profile for you. This way if she wants to eat it herself she can have it as leftovers, instead of you just dumping it. Food is expensive and throwing it away instead of at least giving her the chance to eat it later is just being wasteful. Even non-sweet and regular almond milk tastes vanillaish in mac and cheesy oot. Not the asshole that really sounds disgusting. Disregarding the vanilla part, almond milk sounds weird enough but I'm only drinking real milk so I am biased. But as some other people have said, tell her next time so she knows you don't like it not to criticize her cooking but rather the ingredients used and that they just don't work together. I can't blame you for throwing it away though. Not the asshole. But repeat after me. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for cooking for me I appreciate the effort so much. I didn't want to hurt your feelings that I couldn't finish it. Not the asshole like others have mentioned you were extremely polite about it and tbh it's what I would have done. In my house we do have people who are lactose intolerant, yet when we make craft mac and cheese we always use regular milk. You're the asshole. If she liked it then it was an unnecessary waste of food she could have eaten or at least had the chance to, because you were too afraid to be honest with your gf. Not the asshole, but be more discreet next time lol. Or just tell her how you feel about food like that so she can avoid making it all together in the future. No but learn how to throw away food properly. Don't throw away people's food, just say you don't like sweet macaroni. You're the asshole, when people you care about make bad food, you either tell them or suck it up all the way and eat it. You're the asshole, but not for refusing to eat it. She liked it. She would have eaten it. Just be honest it isn't to your liking, make yourself something else and let her have the leftovers. Throwing food out and lying about it pisses me off. Just admit you don't like the thing. Not the asshole. You're the asshole. Not for not eating it, but for wasting all the food. I'd be upset if my husband threw away a whole meal I made rather than saying this isn't really my cup of tea, do you want mine? Not the asshole. As long as you were kind to her about it and acknowledged the effort, that's pretty gross and I wouldn't have eaten it either. Not the asshole sounds gross and why would you eat it? She ate that nastiness. Dude. I am vegan insane amount of allergies and that is disgusting. I am surprised she even ate it. Sweetened in mac and cheese, yuck. Only good for smoothies and in desserts, keep it far away from savory dishes. Not the asshole, you were trying to spare her feelings. It's just a shame she discovered your ploy. Make sure to throw something on top, that she won't touch if something like this happens again. Esh. You should have told her she might have enjoyed the leftovers. Also it would have been an opportunity to tell her that her milk choice was awful. I've put some weird shit in mac and cheese but that sounds foul. 
Sweetened vanilla almond milk mac and cheese? Definitely not the asshole. Herc. Not the asshole for not eating this abomination. Imho Craft mac and cheese is inedible at the best of times and this sounds even worse. But please use your words next time. Not the asshole. To be honest, she's lucky she's still allowed to be out in public after a crime like that. I mean I can understand using soy milk in a pinch, but vanilla flavored milk? No bueno. That's a serious crime. And yes, you should have covered your tracks better as mentioned. Layering is your ally when it comes to disposal of the evidence. Milk doesn't come from almonds. That's almond juice. I bet it tasted horrible. Not the asshole. I accidentally made a soup once with vanilla almond milk. I didn't realize I picked up the wrong one at the store I had to toss it. Not the asshole why didn't you just tell her after you tried it though? How long have you been together this may influence my opinion I've been with my husband for ages and have no qualms telling him when something he cooks is bad lol, but you might still be in the early politeness stage, I'd c Honesty and communication always go a long way in my opinion. She may still have been offended but maybe if she gently heard oh no this isn't for me instead of this sucks it might have gone okay? I'd c Vomiting face. Not the asshole. Just explain that the sweetened milk made the mac and cheese inedible for you. Plain and simple without being rude. Notar but is your GF just upset you didn't eat it or is there more to her frustration? Are y'all struggling financially in any way? I know it's frustrating when food goes to waste especially if you're struggling. Maybe shed rather you had saved the rest for her to eat for later? Just some thoughts here but I still think Natar. Not the asshole. But why didn't you just tell her you didn't like it with sweetness almond milk? Not the asshole, but you guys should really sit down together and talk about how you can be honest without hurting each other's feelings. What if she ended up liking the salty sweet combo and never found out you threw it out so she started making it more? It's so much better to just say I'll sorry love, this one isn't doing it for me. I don't like the sweetened milk with it than it is to just hide it and throw it away. Not the asshole. My wife is the primary cook because she loves cooking and trying new recipes. They aren't all winners. And she knows this. She also knows I'll be polite and at least try it and sometimes we end up ordering a pizza. I'd ask her how she prefers to handle it next time something she makes isn't a winner. My wife prefers if I'm direct I'm never mean, ask your girlfriend what's the best way to say it to her without hurting her feelings since she did, after all, still cook you dinner. Lord bless her heart. I'd break up with her for calling that cooking. Unless you're trying to be skinny and stuff. Not the asshole for not eating it. Plain almond milk, maybe. Sweetened vanilla almond milk, no. That's not being picky, that sounds disgusting. Also, why the almond milk? Did you run out of regular? I mean, it's mac and cheese. It has cheese. So if you're vegan vegetarian lactose intolerant you're already screwed. Why not just use regular milk? Slightly immature for not just saying, hey, I don't like this instead of throwing it away. Though if she's the type to overreact I can see why you do it. Next time hide it better, lol. Or just get up the courage to tell her you don't like it. You're the asshole. You are in a relationship and you need to actually communicate with each other. Sweeping things under the rug is bad practice and can lead to more conflict as you are seeing right now. And don't you want your partner to know your likes and dislikes? Not the asshole. I made mac and cheese once with sweet and creamer because I was out of milk. It was awful and the whole house agreed. I still get teased about it to this day. Natar, you don't have to eat food that is gross. Almond milk isn't milk at all. It's ground up almond in water with the solids filtered out. It is in no way an actual milk substitute. Not the asshole. Vanilla almond milk in mac and cheese? You woo. You're the asshole. You should have just said something, instead you threw away her food. I hate waste. Since she thought it was edible, 
she might have had the rest of it later, or let het dog of it or something. And she would have known not to make it that way for you again. Listen, I tried to make mac cheese with that milk once, thinking it might work. It does not work. Natai you were polite about it. Did she do it on purpose? I don't want to yuck someone's yum, but yuck. Not the asshole, but I would have found a way to very politely say that mac and cheese made with sweetened milk is not for me.